Na angu Lisdeli Alfumsuye. Na miaka kumi na saba. Natokea msesani. Dar es Salaam. I was then small. The story used to be in my school. Now she is in this school. Maisha angu zbili kile kwa pamazu. Sabo zizongo tuwa wili ulikuwepo. Na likuwa na nalea vizuri. Kwa kila shida likuwa na nasaidia. Lakini bada ya hapo. Ni ipopotelewa na wazazi tena. Ndwa maisha haka tenge. Makusabu ni kwa naishi mimi na kakangu na mdogo wangu. When she came for money, I knew that she was pure orphan. But I knew that she was living with her brother. Kwa za kakangu alikuwa na ana uwezoa kutudumia watoto wawili ya fundo kwa nza kupo ipo chuo. Uwezoa kutudumia watoto wawili mambu ya chuo ya kia mta kutudumia na vyotaka. Alikuwa wezi. Niliwaza. Niliwaza sana. Tani kasema tufanya shuguli gani hili ya tasa sanyi tuwezi kujudumia. When she was in form two, I just find that she was missing the class sometime. So I made follow up and I found where they were living, which is not really a good place for girl to live because she was living with her sister alone. But I took a parent responsibility uh, to write a letter to comfort it, to ask them that they should change the girl uh, from home to, uh, to live to hostel so that he will be able to, to finish the, the school. Nearly fry. I nearly school, son. So I nearly go up early, nearly say, I was the one of my house Samu nige kwa na maazo ni singe za kuendelea na ele elimu. Kwa ngonga isha hostel mazuri kuli kwa taa deik. Sabu nige kwa na kaa deik pindi kiwe challenge. Ufalu upo. Sabu ufalu wakule na onku ni vitu vitu fauti. Kule nikuwa na shika ndani ya kumibola ndio lakini nafasi za chini kule kuenda kwenye kumi enyewe. Lakini kuleza nkashika nafasi kwa nzi ya kumi kuenda juu. They are very happy now. She's really grown up. I'm very proud of her already. She's a head girl. And whenever this girl will see me, she will run and just, Mommy, I'm here. By then, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.